Hey everyone, we're gonna um, do a bit of a reading lesson. Um, this book is called Who Would Win? Jaguar versus Skunk. Um, so we're gonna read through this. Um, and as we go, feel free to pause whenever you need to to write down the information. Um, you can pull up the video and also have the Google Slides that you're working on open next to it so that when you figure out a difference or a similarity so that you can compare and contrast, you can just type it right on in as we're reading, okay? So um, I'm not gonna go super slow. We're not gonna talk about every page like I would if it was an in-person one. I'm just gonna read through it. You guys are gonna do your Venn diagram on your Google slide. So three things that are only um, about skunks, three things that are only about jaguars, and then three things in the middle that are the same. And then on the second slide of your Google Slides on Google Classroom, you need to write a paragraph, at least five sentences, telling me who you think would win, skunk or jaguar. And at the end, there is a scenario where they tell you one that does win. So if you think it's that one, go for it. But if you think it's a different, it will be the opposite animal. Tell me why. So we're going to go ahead and read it. Um, jaguar versus skunk. I think you guys should be able to see it pretty well, but I'm gonna read it and then I'll turn around and show it to you guys. So we have, what would happen if a skunk and a jaguar came nose to nose? If they had a fight, who do you think would win? Okay, let me just go back a little bit. So we got our jaguar here, skunk here. That looks smelly, that has sharp teeth. What do you think? Make a prediction now, what do you think? Who would win in a fight? My thought process is that the skunk would, uh, no, jaguar. My process is that the jaguar would win just because it's bigger, but you know, skunks are smelly. So we have meet the jaguar. The jaguar is a mammal in the cat family. It is the third largest cat on earth. The jaguar is a skilled hunter and an excellent swimmer. Its scientific name is Panthera onca. Definition, a mammal is a warm blooded animal that often has hair and fur. A big fact about them. Um, a Sib uh, the Siberian tiger is the largest of all cats. And then the second fact about big cats is that the lion is the second largest cat. Okay, then let's meet the skunk. The skunk is a mammal that had in the meth mephitidite ooh, family. A striped skunk's scientific name is mephitis mephitis, which means bad smell. Skunks have black and white fur. The fa uh, fun fact. The word skunk comes from the Al Algonquin Indian language. The skunk is not known for its scary teeth or sharp claws. It is most famous because it can make a stink. So here we have our jaguar. Okay, here we have our skunk. See if uh, just in general, start off with some differences. What makes these two animals different? Write a couple of facts down. Okay, but it also on that page, there's something that's similar. They're both what type of animal? Are they reptiles, mammals, amphibians? There could be a similarity there. Next one, climbing. Jaguars can climb trees. They often drag their freshly killed prey up into the branches of a tree. Swimming. Most cats do not like to go in the water, but the jaguar is an excellent swimmer. Watch out crocodiles, watch out turtles. Hiding. The skunk is good at hiding. It is rarely seen during the daylight. Where's the skunk? Under the house? In the trash can? In the bushes? Um, a noisy fact. If you hear an animal on your roof, it's probably a raccoon or a squirrel, not a skunk. Question. Have you ever smelled a skunk in your neighborhood? Oh, yeah. The answer is yes, for sure. So on this side, we have jaguar climbing and swimming. And over here, you're supposed to somehow find the skunk. My, um, I think it's right over here in the very, very corner. It's really hard to see on the video. Sorry, guys. But skunks tend to hide and not come out in daylight. Jaguars tend to climb and swim. Do they go out in daylight? Next page. Know your cat fur. Most, or uh, uh, fur fact. Most black panthers are jaguars or leopards without spots. A uh, baby fact. A baby lion has white spots, which is, which usually, bleh. A baby lion has white spots, which it usually outgrows. And then this side says, know your stripes. 
Furry fact, baby skunks are born with stripes. This is a stinky page. In this book, we will feature the striped skunk. So, on this side, this is a type of, what does it say? Jaguar rosettes. So this could be what a jaguar would have on it. Over here, we have leopard C-shaped spots. So that's more of a leopard. On this side, we have the cheetah polka dots. So cheetah. Then we have tiger stripes. And then down here is the plain lion. So for this book and the purposes, we're looking more at this type of spot for jaguars. And then on this side right here, um, we have the Zorilla skunk. Then the next one is the hog-nosed skunk. Then we have the spotted skunk, the hooded skunk, and then finally the striped skunk. So this is the one we're talking about in this one, the striped skunk. So again, differences. You can kind of see them right there for sure. Next one, the range. The jaguar lives in much of Central America and South America. Many jaguars live in rainforests. They also hunt on grasslands and savannas. In the world, skunks are found on every continent except Antarctica and Australia. So, fact, jan jaguars do not live in Africa. So, if we're looking at this map, anything that is yellow is where a skunk could potentially live. Okay, so that's literally all over the place except for Antarctica and Sorry, Antarctica and Australia. It's not going to live there. Then the striped pink on this side is where a jaguar could live. So the South America type of stuff. But they do not live in Africa. Jaguars do not live in Africa. Okay. Again, there's some differences there. Next part. The jaguar sometimes is a crepuscular hunter. The definition of crepuscular means an animal hunts at dawn and at dusk, so as the sun is rising and as the sun is falling. A fact is that there is a famous sport sports car called the Jaguar. You should know that. Dawn is when the, first, the sun first rises and dusk is when the sun sets. So dawn is daybreak, dusk is twilight. Then we have nocturnal. The skunk is a nocturnal hunter. It comes out at night, so nocturnal means they are out at night. To get skunked sometimes means to go fishing and not catch anything. Hey, Rob, we should write a nocturnal alphabet book. So that, <laughs> that's kind of funny. These guys are promoting another book that they wrote about nocturnal animals. But so we have so the jaguar hunts at daybreak and nightfall. And then skunks are out only at night. They're nocturnal. So they sleep during the day. They're out at night. Well, this one has a lot of stuff on it. Dinner. Zoologists studied jaguars and discovered that they eat dozens of different animals. We're not going to read all of them. A definition, a zoologist, zoologist is a scientist who studies animals. And then did you know the jaguar can hunt and eat animals much bigger than itself? So on this side right here, these are all things that a jaguar might eat. All kinds of different things. Okay, and then on this side, skunks are omnivores. They eat plants and animals, so both plants and animals. A skunk would gladly eat spaghetti or a cheeseburger too. Fun fact, animals that eat only plants are called herbivores. For example, elephants and pandas are herbivores. A bug fact, animals that eat only insects. might win gold medal for hunting. However, the jaguar is not a gentle animal. It stalks and ambushes its prey. Its jaws are so strong it can bite turtle shells, pierce skulls, and crush necks. Oof. The tail fact. The jaguar has the shortest tail of all of the big cats, but the snow leopard has the biggest tail. Sorry, the longest tail. So here's that jaguar page. So it would win the gold medal if there was an Olympics. 
And then there's some pictures of it. The next page, warning, beware the skunk. One day, a skunk sprayed the underside of a car. The car smelled so bad that the family couldn't drive it for a week. And then fun fact, the skunk will not spray another skunk. A skunk was near a home's outdoor air conditioning unit. The skunk got startled and sprayed. The smell went through the central air vents into the house and the people couldn't live there for a month. That wasn't funny. Uh, fun fact, if you see a skunk during daylight, it is usually sick. A girl got sprayed by a skunk on her way to school. The principal sent her home. Good choice. Do you want to sit in a classroom with someone smelling like skunk? To get the skunk smell off, she had to take a breath, a bath in tomato juice. Her parents had to throw her clothes away. Fun fact, the skunk spray is not poisonous. So here's some pictures of what the skunk sprayed. So the car, the house, and then the girl. <clears throat> Hearing. How might you know a jaguar is in the area? You would hear it. The jaguar is the only cat in the Western Hemisphere that roars. So you'll be able to hear the jaguar. Smell. How would you know that a skunk is in the area? You might smell it. Yuck. The skunk smell comes from glands near its tail. The skunk lifts its tail and shoots its stinky mist. Fun fact. Skunks are less likely to spray if they can't see what they are spraying. If a pest removal worker catches a skunk in the cage, he might cover the cage with a blanket so that the skunk can't or won't spray. So there's your smell picture. Okay, remember, you can be pausing at any time to write down your uh, similarities and differences. The next one, alone. The jaguar is a solitary cat. It is perfectly happy living alone. So solitary means alone on its own. This might be what it would look like if jaguars hunted in packs. Yikes. So this dude's all alone, chilling. But this down here is what it might look like if they hunted in packs. And we all don't want that. Mm -mm. Cool smelly facts. The name Chicago is from the Ojibwa Indian language for skunk land. Um, Skunk Works was the secret name of the Lockheed Martin Aircraft Factory in Palmade, California, which built the top secret U-2 spy plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, the F-117 Nighthawk Stealth Fighter, and the F-22 Raptor. So there's some facts about skunks, too, and how they've contributed to society. Okay. The teeth. Here we go. The jaguar has teeth that are perfect for catching and eating meat. Okay. The height of a jaguar is about 36 inches, so that's about three feet tall. It's pretty high. The weight of a jaguar is between 120 to 210 pounds. So this is what the jaguar would look like. Its teeth and then its height and weight are here. Okay. The skunk has small teeth, but they do the job. Um, the length of a skunk is about three feet long, so about as long as the jaguar is tall. And then the weight is only four to 12 pounds total. So there's the skunk. Okay. More weapons. The jaguar has other weapons besides its huge teeth and sharp claws. It has camouflage, or sorry, huge teeth and strong jaws because it has sharp claws, camouflage, and speed. A jaguar can run 50 miles per hour. That's pretty quick. So we have the sharp claws, the camouflage, and then how fast it goes, 50 miles per hour. Then, skunks, one weapon. Maybe all you need is one secret weapon. The skunk's ability to create a terrible smell has kept it safe for millions of years. Did you know that the skunk can shoot its spray up to six times in a row before it runs out of smell? Um, skunk spray is also highly flammable. You can set it on fire. Skunks aren't fast, though, but they are the experts in chemical warfare. So you have your skunk there, right? This is about how fast a skunk can go. Ten miles per hour. Not very fast in the end, huh? Okay. 
Here's some more uh, fun facts. The jaguar sneaks up on a napping crocodile and crushes, it, crushes its neck with one giant bite. As the jaguar was eating the crocodile, the skunk found a tasty dragonfly. So you got the jaguar with the crocodile and then the skunk eating the dragonfly. I wish I was a human, thought the jaguar. I have a pepperoni pizza, cheeseburgers, and fries. As the jaguar was eating a nutria, the skunk was munching on a delicious frog. So we got the jaguar thinking about eating cheeseburgers and fries, and then you got the skunk chewing on a frog over there. The jaguar ambushes a capybara, the largest rodent on earth. It hauls the big rodent up its tree to save for dinner for later. The big green anaconda for lunch also is no problem. The jaguar's jaws are strong. Sorry, snake. Okay, I'm only going to show you the bottom half, just because we don't need the snake in the video. So we have the uh, jaguar eating the capybara. Then the jaguar catches a huge pack. Taku with its pointy teeth, yum, it will have fish for dinner. As the jaguar was eating the giant pacu, the turtle chewed and swallowed a, uh, I'm sorry, the skunk chewed and swallowed a turtle egg. So now we have the jaguar getting the fish and the skunk getting the turtle egg. Okay, let's go ahead and read the scenario um, if a drag, if they were to fight, the jaguar and the skunk. So, right now, real quick, jaguar or skunk? Who do you think is gonna win this fight? Okay, here we go. The hungry jaguar is walking in the rainforest. It is looking for another meal. The jaguar sees the skunk. The jaguar could easily rip the skunk to shreds. This may be no contest. So here you go. Jaguar sees the skunk. What's gonna happen here? The jaguar can't stand the smell. It runs away as fast as possible. Congratulations to the skunk. The ferocious jaguar quit the battle. The stink wins. So there is the jaguar running away from the skunk there. And then at the bottom here, talks about who has the advantage, jaguar or the skunk. So if you think about its size, who has the advantage, which one's bigger? If you think about its teeth, which one has the advantage? The stink, which one has the advantage? The claws, the speed, or the weight? So, that's the end of the book. You have a Google Slides to fill out that has um, a Venn diagram on it. So you need to write down three facts that are only about skunks, three facts that are only about uh, jaguars, and then in the middle where the circles overlap, you need to write down three facts that both the jaguar and the skunk have in common. And then on the second slide of the PowerPoint, you need to write a paragraph about which one you thought was gonna win, jaguar or the skunk, and explain why, okay? So that's all for this one. Um, hope you guys have a good day.